we are on another episode of make my wardrobe with me okay so a lot of things is going to be happening on this video that is going to really help you understand how to make a dress like this and never again watch a video when you want to make it okay if you're a beginner or whatever you are and you want to make this dress watching my video after you're done watching this particular video uh, never again would you ever want to watch any video to make this dress okay it's just going to be hidden in your head forever and ever okay and that's the plan quickly um introduction my name is vivian okay and welcome to my channel if this is the first time you've seen me welcome <laughs> you actually came to the right channel this is a beginner friendly channel where i show you my process of making every outfit i make like i carry you along in each process step just the same way i understand it okay if you're a beginner and you have been having doubts in your sewing journey trust me that doubt is going to be dead once i'm done with you okay once you're done watching all the videos i have for you on this channel never again would you ever doubt yourself so let's quickly talk about the dress that we're about to make we're going to talk about the measurements that i use in making this dress and you don't need much measurements bear it in mind that after talking about these measurements i'm still going to be showing you how to take this measurement okay so like i said it's a beginner video i got you from the beginning to the end right now the first measurement you'll be needing definitely is your round bust now you can see that the dress has the upper part and for you to be able to create the upper part you need your round bust basically just your round bust and we're going to be multiplying our round bust okay so we just we just don't need the round bust we're going to be multiplying that by two or three to get the ruche okay depending on how big your boss is but then why sewing we're going to be explaining all these things step by step now also you need either your round waist or your round hip i said either is you don't need the boots you need either okay personally why making this particular dress i used my round waist but i'm going to be saying if you're on a bigger size than me if you're on the plus size you should be using your round hip I'm going to explain why we are creating the pattern like while we're about to cut the fabric i'm going to be explaining why you need either but then i use my round waist so because of the ruche effects okay you need either of this you need your round waist to multiply by two or three or you need your round hip to multiply by two or three depending on how much ruche you want to see on the dress now apart from this round measurement we have um mention which is the horizontal measurement you also need the length okay so you need to know the length of the upper part of the dress and you need to know the length of the lower part of the dress you can see that this dress is attached in the middle that's on the waist so the upper part was cut from the chest point or the upper bust points to your waist and the lower part was cut from the waist down to the length so you need to know that measurement you need to know the length and i'm going to be showing you exactly how to take it okay and once you have that measurement from your upper bust to the waist that's the length now you can go ahead and take the measurement from your waist to how long you want your dress to be you can see on the intro of this video that i have two of this dress i have the short and i have the long and i'm going to be telling you guys the measurements i use as the length for the short and for the long dress and let's just move into the next thing you need to know now let's talk about the fabric that you can use to make this dress and how many yards you need personally making this dress i use the chiffon and i have had this dress before did i mention that i have had the dress before we created this one and the one i had before was gifted to me by my elder sister and that particular one also was made with a chiffon so for that reason i think i just felt like you know recreating my own with a chiffon is the best option because i like how that particular um dress the one that was gifted to me by my sister i like how it feels on my body how it looks and i just like how light it is and for that reason i decided to remake my own sets using a chiffon 
now you can use a chiffon to make this dress you can use a light crepe just make sure that whatever fabric you're using is actually really light and you know just not so heavy if you want to get that flowy effect you know that that vibe i don't know if you get the vibe but yeah just make sure that whatever you're using is a light fabric now when making something the fabric choice is always up to you okay you know what you're going for you know exactly how you want your dress or whatever outfit you're making you know how you want it to look on your body so you alone can determine what kind of fabric you can use to recreate what you want to recreate so for that reason i'm going to leave that choice to you but just know this that i personally i use chiffon and i think chiffon is the best option for this dress now moving on let's talk about the yacht for the chiffon i used i bought a chiffon that is um 60 the length is 60 i don't know if you understand you know some fabric comes in 45 some comes in 50 some comes in 60 so the chiffon i bought came in 60 by length and i used two and a half yard for the long dress and two yard for the short dress now the two yard for the short dress I did not exhaust all okay the way i cut the dress i know i almost wasted some of the fabric from the two yards but then i didn't use all the two yards but two yards is very safe okay so if you're using a chiffon or crepe just make sure you use two yards to recreate for the short and i think two yards can also be enough for you for the long if you are very tiny or you're just like me but then if you're on the plus side just make sure you get like two and a half or three years to be safe okay chiffon is really cheap so yeah just get enough fabric but yeah i am saying that two years two and a half is enough for this dress so now that we have had this whole breakdown of what this video is going to be like i hope you really enjoy all the process that i'm about to show you and please do not forget to subscribe if you're new i think you will love it here okay i know you're going to love it here so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you are here and you're watching this particular video don't forget to like and help me share okay do all those things so that youtube helps me share or you know recommend my video more to beginners like you and yeah i want them here to to learn and grow with me so don't forget to do all these things and i'll be seeing you guys on the more dresses and outfits i'm going to be making for my wardrobe love you So we're going to be cutting out two separate fabrics and I'm going to tell you what is going to determine the two separate fabrics. Okay, so we're going to be cutting out for the up, the top part and then the base. Okay, so from the chest to the waist, that's the up part and from the waist to the length, that's the base part. So for the first part, we're going to be cutting, which is the upper part. We're going to be cutting a rectangle. Or a square fabric, whichever you want to call. Let's just call it a rectangle, okay? Because the width and the length is not the same. So we're going to be cutting out a rectangle, and what is going to determine the rectangle is um, from here to here is going to be from the chest to the waist. So you're going to place your tip from your chest or the point where you want your dress to sit from that chest piece to the waist and you're going to record the measurements when i did that i got 11 inches okay so from my chest or from the place where i want the dress to sit on the upper part of my body to the base which is my waist is 11 inches now note that we're going to be joining the base here to the uh, waist to the length we're going to be joining this top to a skirt or a gather skirt so we need half an inch here 0 0.5 and we're going to be creating a channel for elastic on top on the chest side so for that we need 1.5 inch because we're going to be passing not an elastic we're going to be passing a strap through it so we need 1.5 here so 1.5 so 1.5 plus 0 0.5 is 2. So I'm going to say 11 inches plus 2, which is equals to 13. Okay, so 13 inches is what is going to determine the length of the rectangle I'm going to cut. Okay, so the rectangle is going to be 13 inches long. And now let's talk about the width. The width of the rectangle is going to be determined by my round waist. 
divided by 2 plus 7 inches and I'm going to be explaining why okay let's just do the mass first so my round waist is 50 by 30 so I'll say 30 divided by 2 equals to 15 15 plus 7 equals to 22 so the width of my fabric okay how wide my fabric is going to be for the upper part is going to be from here to here is going to be 22 inches okay so the width is going to be 22 inches now you guys are going to really understand when i cut this on the pattern and transfer to the fabric okay it's going to be an easy dress for us to make no matter how length it is it's going to be detailed and easy so the widest of my fabric is going to be 22 inches and the length of the fabric is going to be 13 inches now 22 inches because it has to be this wide so that when we put the elastic at the waist on the skirt part and join it to this top part it will shrink and it will not affect you know our our body in the front it is not it's not going to show our breasts it's not going to do anything okay so what we're going to do is use our round waist divided by two plus seven inches okay and this is for the upper part now for the skirt part which is the waist to the length what is going to determine that also is going to be from the waist to the length where you want your fabric to stop i want my own to be short i'm going to be doing two one long one short okay so for the short one here is going to be the length from the waist to the length and the width of my fabric is going to be determined by my round waist times four okay so i'm going to do my round waist times four okay and whatever i get is what i'm going to use to cut out a very long piece of fabric that's going to be acting as my front and my back that is why we say times four okay do you get me so practically my round waist is 30 times four gives you 120 okay so the four times three is 12 zero so 120 inches of fabric is what i'm going to be using as a width and then the length is going to be from my waist to where i want it to stop okay so these are the things that we are going to be working with to create this dress really simple and next make sure you just have your elastic and we're going to be making a strap and that is practically what we need for this dress very simple and it's going to be very cute okay so let's just let's move on to the cutting table and start cutting okay Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark down one inch as the starting line. That is very necessary. So one inch as my starting line before we start marking what we did on the illustration. Okay, we're practically just going to make everything easy here. So I'm using the pattern because you guys know that the fabric will not sit one place for me to mark, especially because I'm using chiffon. Okay. So this is the starting line, and on the starting line, I'm going to be coming down by 11 inches. Like I said, this starting line is a chest. Okay. So I'll come down by 11 inches and that is what is going to determine the length. So I'll mark 11 inches down. So you should find out what you want the length to be and use your length. Okay, do not use my length in case you're bossy. So you don't stay. But I feel like how I am cutting it right now or how I am about to sew it right now is going to be able to enter anybody. Because I'm doing it this, this big because of my sister's. I want it to be able to fit my sisters too. And um, we all don't have the same size of breast, okay? So this is the length. This is 11 inches length. Okay. And I said what is going to determine the width, the width is going to be the wideness, like from here to here. What will determine it is my round waist. My round waist divided by two plus seven inches. Okay, so my round waist is going to be 
Now this is going to be 30 divided by 2 gives you 15 plus 7 inches equals to 22. So from here to here is going to be 22. From here to here is going to be 22. Okay? So that's the next thing. From here to here is going to be 22. So this is 22 here. And I'll mark it here to be 22. Okay. So this is the weight of my fabric. So this is what we're using. Now I'm going to be doing some adjustments, which is um, I'm going to be marking one inch in from this is going to be the chest. So this is going to be the upper part, right? I'm going to be marking one inch in, one inch in. I'll connect it to this point here and I'll connect it to this point. Being that um, this is the upper part, so I want it to be smaller than the base. Okay, this is going to be attached to the skirt, and this is going to be where we rush. Okay, so I'm just going to mark one inch in, one inch in. So I'm just going to say, or I'll just use 0.75. Sorry, I'll use 0.75. Of course, I'm still going to be joining this to the line. So 0 0.75 here, 0. Seven five here, and then I'll connect it to the base here. I'll connect it to the base here. Okay, so this is going to be for the top part. This is for the base. Now remember, we're going to be adding half an inch here and one point five up here. So I forgot, if not, I should have left 1.5. So I'm just going to be leaving this one inch up. I will stand my line here up. This is going to be for my strap. So I will stand it up. So this is for the straps. This is where I will be attaching, I will be creating the straps that will come out when we reach. So we're going to be adding the half an inch at the base. Or joining to the skirt part. So half an inch is okay. It's all we need. So bear it in mind that it is better for you to have more than you expect to have on your fabric so that you can adjust than you have a smaller amount of fabric and now there is no way for you to adjust. Okay, so on my fabric I'm still gonna be adding allowance if I want to. It is always advisable for you to keep adding on that one. So you're done sewing. <laughs> so this is 0 0.5. And here is one inch. So yeah, this is it. Let's go ahead and cut this on the fabric. I'm going to be cutting two of this because I my chiffon is very, very transparent. So I'm going to be attaching it to a lining. So I'm going to be cutting two of this. Okay, so this is times two, including its lining. And what I'm cutting again, I'm still going to give half an inch up here because of the folding. The folding that we're going to be folding to create a strap, okay? So one inch is actually okay, but I'm just going to cut Add more. Okay, so let's just go to the cutting. Let's just go to the cutting of the fabric. This, this particular video that you're watching has two sewing version and one pattern drafting. Of course, we're going to be starting with the pattern drafting, which is just for the upper side of the dress. Now, why I said to use a pattern to explain is the fact that I actually, I actually want everybody to see what I'm marking. I want you guys to understand how to take the measurement and mark it on either your fabric or your pattern. And that is just it, okay? So we have a pattern drafting just for the upper part. And for the lower part, there is no need for you to use a pattern or there's no need for you to even mark measurements. All you have to do is multiply your round waist by two or three to get the ruche. Or you can use your round hip, multiply that by two or three to get the ruche, okay? So that is just it, okay? So having your round waist multiplied by two or three, you're just going to cut a long fabric and then ruche it together, like gather it together. Or... You multiply your round hip by three or two and then cut out a long fabric with whatever number you get at last and then ruch it together to get that effect, the ruch effect 
on the dress okay there is two sewing version right and why i have two sewing version is while i was making the short dress which was the first one i attempted i made some mistake and for the fact that i don't want to make that particular mistake i decided to make a second sewing version while making the longer dress now if you're sitting through this pattern drafting first sewing version second sewing version there is no way you will not understand all it takes to make this dress and how to sew it okay so we're going to be adjusting whatever mistake we make on the first sewing version on the second sewing version all included on this video and trust me if you are here for it all you're going to absorb so much that you never need to watch any video to make this dress and i keep saying that because it's true the first one i'm going to be sewing is the short dress and here i have gone ahead to cut out my pattern on the fabric now i am using a very light chiffon and i couldn't just cut out one so i had to cut out two pieces so i could line it and get a concealing result okay so make sure that if whatever you're using is too light make sure you just line it okay but then if you're using a fabric that isn't that light and isn't that see-through just go ahead and cut out only one piece so what i did was notch the top part of the top i had to notch it so that when i'm sewing i know where to sew and I know where it's sitting at the lower side and where it's sitting at the upper side. So this is what I have. And I'm just going to show you guys how I'll be sewing this rectangle. So I'll sew the upper part here by quarter an inch. I'll sew the side by quarter an inch. And I'll sew the side by quarter an inch. And I'm not going to be sewing this lower side because this is where I'll be joining to the down part of my dress. Okay. So go sew here, here and here. now for the lower part of this dress the skirt part i call it the skirt part all you have to do is cut out a fabric and the width should be your round waist times three or four or your round hip times three or four so you can see that i'm saying or or so you can use either your round waist times three or four or your round hip times three or four now i'm showing you guys the length now this is a short part of my dress right so or this is a shorter um, version of the dress so the length i used is 24 but then because i am going to be creating a channel where i pass my elastic i'm going to be using 27 or 28 so that i can have enough fabric to create my channel for elastic so this is the elastic and it is one inch wide so this is the elastic i'll be passing through the channel i create so whatever i'm doing i'm going to create a channel that is going to be able to contain my elastic so let me show you guys what i mean now this is the top part of my dress and i'm going to be sewing by quarter an inch and i told you guys we will be sewing right i'm going to be sewing the top part the sides and i'm going to be leaving the down part where i'll be joining to the skirt part i hope you guys are getting all this part 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 <laughs> okay so just try and watch what i'm doing and try and listen you're gonna understand so i'm done sewing i'm going to flip this to the right side and this is what i have so next thing i need to do is iron this out okay before i create a channel for my straps okay now to create the channel for elastic on the skirt part okay this is the fabric for the skirt part i'm going to fold my fabric by half an inch first and then i'll fold by one inch making sure that this width here this channel here the width is able to contain my elastic okay so i'm just going to bring the elastic and place it on this to make sure that it is wide enough for the elastic okay so you have to confirm confirm if you don't have to confirm do not confirm but i feel like you have to confirm okay because you're a beginner and even professionals do confirm so yeah go ahead and confirm that whatever channel you're creating on your skirt parts is wide enough for your elastic to sit so this particular part here depends on the elastic you're using okay so if you're using the elastic that i'm using the one inch elastic please go ahead and do the same thing but if you're not using the same elastic and you're using a quarter inch elastic still do the same thing <laughs> hey lovelies do not forget to iron while you sew so that is what this part is here to tell you it is just a notice to tell you that 
making a dress and ironing while you make it will give you a very clean result okay so yeah go, do go ahead and iron and we're going to move to the next step of what i did while creating this dress so why ironing i am going to iron down the part where my strap is going to be sitting on the top part of my dress okay so i'm going to be creating a channel here for a strap that is going to be tied around my neck so i'm using my iron to iron this out so that it is very easy for me to create it when i'm sewing like when i'm about to sew i'm able to create it okay so my strap is just going to be half an inch wide and that is why this channel is half an inch wide okay so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and sew this down and automatically folding this by half an inch and sewing it down is going to create a channel where my straps will be sitting Now the next thing i'm doing here is finding the middle point on the top okay so i'm just gonna notch it this is the middle point you can see i folded this into two to get the middle point so i had to pin this together because the fabric kept moving it's just fabric is just too light this chiffon this particular chiffon is just too light so the next thing i did was i brought um out the or i brought in the skirt part and i'm going to be notching the middle part also so yeah i'm going to pin the middle part of the top of my dress the middle middle part of the skirt of my dress <laughs> do you get i went ahead to pin the middle point on the top side of my um dress to the middle point on the skirt part of my dress now this is what i did very wrong and you guys please do not do this particular step so i decided to show you this step because this was what i did that made the dress not to sit perfectly on me and i had to lose and redo it and now when i'm showing you guys how to make the long part of this dress you're going to see the actual thing to do when, when making yours what i did was i um, pinned the middle part on my skirts um side to the middle part of my top side and i sewed this together and once i was done sewing the next thing i did was pass my elastic through and the result wasn't nice guys because now this whole method made the dress to be too open and you could see my side boobs like my side boobs or my side breast was popping out so once i was done closing out the skirt part that's the lower part of my dress i tried this on it was not sitting properly so i had to loosen and also the chiffon i used for the dress was too light and i had to now loosen and add a lining so all the whole process i did for this particle made me understand the proper way to make this dress next video you're going to be seeing is the second sewing version and on the second sewing version i am not going to be lining it i am not going to be using a see-through chiffon and i'm going to be showing you guys the proper way to make your dress okay the proper way to sew the dress now this time around there is no mistake this is the one that is going to give you the results that you have been searching for so let's go ahead and go into the second sewing version i'm going ahead to cut out the top side of my dress i'm just going to trim to make sure that all ends are equal okay so just like before i have two fabrics here because i need to line this now if this particular fabric is not that see-through but i needed to line it also because i just wanted the upper part of my dress to be a little bit um you know strong i don't know i just wanted it to be a little bit concealing not a little bit i wanted it to be very very concealing so i lined the upper side now moving on to the skirt parts i cut out a fabric that is my round waist times three now i said i was going to explain why you need to use your round hip right so me using my round waist times three is the fact that i do not want enough like too much ruch on the down part of my dress that is why i use my round waist times three now if you're on a plus size this is where you need to use your round hip 
times three okay i know why i'm saying this this is going to give you the perfect result that you need use your round hip times three and the rouge you're going to get after making this dress is going to be enough and it's going to be a little bit concealing if you're using a chiffon fabric okay now the length of my long dress um, for the skirt part i use 44 inches as the length now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be creating a channel for elastic and for the straps and we did this while making the short part of the dress joining the lining of the main dress of the top side to the lining of the main top side okay like i said i cut out two pieces so i could line and that's what i'm joining so i'm joining the top the upper part the sides and i'll be leaving the base because the base is going to be joined to the skirt part and at this point you should be able to understand everything i'm saying so this has been flipped to the right side and you know the next thing i need to do is iron okay And now I am creating the channel for elastic and this is on the skirt part, okay? And make sure whatever channel you're creating, like I said before, has to be wide enough to contain your elastic, okay? Whatever elastic you're using for your dress, just make sure that you create a channel that is able to contain it or it's able to pass through and sit properly, okay? now it doesn't even really matter if you are using the one inch elastic you can use a half inch elastic and still get the same results that i got so make sure that you use whatever you have close to you okay just be resourceful and do not limit yourself to exactly everything i am doing if you can do yours and still get the same result okay what i mean you can do yours you can use your own elastic width you know you can use your own length if you want your length to be shorter or you want it to be longer it is all up to you so for my elastic weight i know i didn't tell you why i was making the short dress what i did for my elastic weight is i minus six inches from my round waist my round waist is 30 minus six inches gives you 24 and that is what i use in cutting out my elastic okay so yeah this is what i'll be using to pass through the skirt part of my dress and i'm using a safety pin to pin this and yeah so now I'm going to pass the elastic through the channel I have created and it is going to give me the rouge effect that I need for my dress. So this is the result. Okay. And let's move into the next thing you need to do. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating straps and also creating a channel for the strap. Now, see what i mean that i'm going to be creating straps i cut out a fabric that is one and a half inch wide yeah that's the width 1.5 inch wide and i'm sewing this by half an inch okay the straps i'll be using for my dress the strap that is going to be tied around my neck i want it to be half an inch wide and that is why i am sewing just half an inch on a folded fabric okay so i cut out a fabric that is 1.5 inch wide fold it into two and sewed half inch of it okay and now i'm flipping this to the right side and this is going to automatically create a strap for me so this is how to create a strap for whatever you're making if you want the strap to be half an inch wide this is how to do it if you want it to be 0 0.25 wide you just go ahead and sew by 0 0.25 wide and clip this to the right side okay so this is my straps <laughs> how is your own project coming along let me know in the comment section okay so now i am creating a channel where the straps is going to be sitting so likewise what i did when i was creating for my elastic i'll use the strap to know how wide i need to create the channel and now i know how wide i'll just go ahead and sew so it is always advisable to just use whatever you're creating channel for just use it on your fabric to know how wide you need to sew okay we're all beginners so let's just take the basic steps while we sew
so this channel here is going to be enough for my my strap to pass through okay it's going to be wide enough for my strap to pass through now joining the top part to the skirt together okay so i'm joining the top part and my skirt together and i'll show you guys how easy it is to do it now we're going to mark the middle points on the skirt part we realized something okay while i was making the short part of my dress i did not do this process i didn't pass my elastic first before joining it to the top side so that is the difference and this is the perfect way to make it okay make sure you pass your elastic through first on your skirt part before you join this to your top part of the dress okay so i'm going to mark the middle point on the top part of the dress or notch it and now i'm going to place the middle point to the middle point of my skirt part okay so the difference now is there is elastic on the skirt part and while i have my elastic that is why i'm joining the upper part to the down part okay so this is where you need to take note of this is the part that makes everything different this is the part that gives you that finishing that you need that beautiful finishing that is not going to be showing your side boobs okay your boobs is not going to pop out this is going to make everything sit right and properly and i want you to pay attention to what i do next So after um, pinning, I'll go ahead and start sewing. Now the idea is why we sew the top part of the dress to the skirt part, we're going to stretch. We're going to stretch, right? And please do not stretch too much. <laughs> do not stretch too much, okay? Just watch what I'm doing. I did not stretch too much. Uh, I'm going to be sewing this gradually by 0 0.5 inch. And I'm just going to be stretching a little bit, okay? So I'm going to just drag this and just sew. So just make sure that you stretch while you sew okay that is what i did and this gave me the result that i was looking for so now i'm just going to sew on this other side and i'll stretch why i sew by 0 0.25 inch okay so i'm just going to stretch my skirt parts and sew. so once i was done with that this is what i got and with this here i was able to cover my full front okay so this other side here are going to be sitting at the back and now i have to close this so I'll just place the two sides together and I'll be sewing this by 0 0.5 inch. So guys, I hope you're able to understand all the steps that I have been able to show you. This is the process I followed in making my own dress. I have showed you guys two process. Um, the first process was a wrong way, but I, did, I just need to show you guys that i made a mistake while making this dress and i did a lot of losing a lot of joining a lot of things that i don't want you to do and that is why you saw that first clip of the sewing version and then the second clips here this second clip you're watching i hope it was able to show you the proper way to make your dress please let me know in the comment section if showing you the mistake i did while making this dress was able to you know help you learn well in making the dress and yeah let's move on to the next thing the next thing is i'm going to pass my strap through the channel i have created on the upper part and bear it in mind that the strap is what i will be using to tie around my neck and that is basically it for this dress okay this is how i was able to create my beautiful dress now please take note that i am going to also make more and while i make more of this i will be 
filming and showing you guys the process again okay so now that we know what to do and what not to do the next video is going to be really detailed and really you know straightforward because we already did the whole mistake we did our adjustments and now we know the best way to make the dress okay the proper way to make the dress without making any mistake okay so yeah and light to you wherever you are amazing creatives and bye for now bye bye bye, -bye. <laughs>